does not want my AirPods. Okay, well, hopefully you can hear me somewhat through my computer, I guess. <laughs> I guess I didn't want my AirPods. So I'm waiting on my water for my boba to boil. And then I am waiting on my brown sugar mixture as well. So I do just get my, um, the boba pearls that I have. I get them at Ranch 99. You can get them at most um, Asian stores. Um, you can also get them on Amazon. I used to get them on Amazon for a bit as well. But I am going to grab a little wooden spoon here. Um, just because I really don't want my brown sugar mixture to burn. But you do want it to like caramelize. Oh, the spoon's so crooked. But you do want it to caramelize um, a bit, I guess, for like lack of a better word. I don't know if that's the right word or not. But you do want it to become syrupy. So that's why there's like the water and the sugar in here, just trying to make a syrup. There's definitely a chunk of brown sugar in here that worries me. Hopefully it dissolves, but I'm gonna turn the heat up on this a little bit. And the heat is all the way up on this, I think. So we're just waiting on that to boil. Then I'm going to put the pearls in and cook those for a bit. And then we will put the brown sugar syrup in. It'll like drip really nicely down um, the cup. And then I will put in some almond milk and some ice. But right now I'm trying to get the chunks out of my sugar here. Just because there's like one really massive chunk in here and it's making me nervous. Just because I don't want to like accidentally eat like a huge chunk of sugar. I mean, this is like a huge chunk of sugar I'm about to be like drinking, but not all at one go. So I'm just trying to break up this sugar here, which I guess I should have grabbed like less chunky pieces, but that's okay. So some people make their own pearls. That is like a lot of effort. That's too much effort for me anyway. Um, so I don't do that. But, I don't know, to me that just seems like a lot of work to like make a dough and everything, but I'm sure it's probably not like that much effort once you get going. So, the sugar is starting to boil a little bit, so I'm going to turn it down just a smidge. I feel like this is kind of like making candy, and like I've never made candy, but I hear that making candy is very hard, so... I just try to be careful with the brown sugar so that I'm just trying to make sure it's like it becomes a syrup but also so that it doesn't burn because it's already I feel like starting to heat up it's already starting to boil so since my water is boiling for my boba I'm just going to put in a handful of these pearls so they just come they look kind of like this like they look kind of like the boba pearls you know they just look a little bit more like I don't know, powdery I guess but these are just some tapioca pearls just putting a few of these in here and so once they start to rise to the top I'm going to reduce the heat to a simmer and put the lid on it and then cook it for a couple more minutes um, but right now I'm gonna wait for them to rise to the top I do want to make sure that I keep stirring like my brown sugar mixture here just so that that isn't burning And it's hard because you want to like make sure it's like a syrupy consistency, but not that it's burned. So I'm trying to just constantly stir it. I'll probably turn the heat down a bit on this as well, just because I definitely do not want to deal with like a sticky mess that I have to like clean up tonight. So while I'm waiting for this, if anyone's curious, fit details. Um, this top is from Amazon. It's part of like a two-piece set. It comes with like a matching leggings that I'll probably wear in a stream at some point soon. Then these shorts are the ones I wore in my last makeup stream. These are from Target, just like my super basic like work from home shorts. Um, they're very wrinkly, so like don't hate on me. Like I did iron them like before. Um, I ironed them as soon as they came out of the laundry actually, and then I hung them up in my closet. And then I wore them today, and now they're wrinkly again. That's just how it goes. So since my pearls rose to the top here, I'm going to grab, hopefully this is the right lid. I'm going to just leave a little room for venting and just turn this down so that they can simmer and just continue to cook in here. 
and then keep stirring my sugar. We do want to find like a nice tall glass to put these in here. I don't know which one I want to use. Maybe I'll use this cute little Japanese one. This one's kind of cute. She's kind of cute. I like this glass with this little the little kitty on it. Where's my camera? There it is. I think I'll use that one. Hello, lover boy. So, waiting on the pearls. So, about two minutes. So, it's 9.45 where I'm at now. It's like 9.47. I'll take those out and drain them. Actually, I need to keep them in there off the heat for two more minutes after then. So, we're getting close. I used to make this all the time. So, like, I had the instructions down in my head. But it's been a while. It's been a while. I feel like I've gotten really busy, like, with work. So, I'm like, I'll just spend, like the seven dollars and buy a boba <laughs> but just trying to keep an eye on the brown sugar and water that i put in here just to make sure it's not burning and hopefully that it's turning into a nice little sauce soon it's definitely bubbling so we're definitely we're definitely getting a little a little sauce like soon for sure but i'm a little nervous about it burning so we'll see how it goes. I haven't made this in a while, so it's either gonna come out really good or I'm gonna like embarrass myself. I am making a brown sugar boba tonight for myself. Just a little, you know, congrats on making it through the work week thing for myself. You know, do my makeup on my last stream, you know, just having like a little fun, little fun Friday night in, so. I'm very excited to sleep in tomorrow, not gonna lie. I'm very excited to go to bed soon and just like sleep in. Cause it's been my first week back, or I guess it's been, this was my first. So I took off the weekend and like a couple days, so I technically took off like three days, like of my like work day to um, go to my graduation over the weekend. So I was just like so tired this week coming back to work and like trying to like play catch up, so. I'm very sleepy, <laughs> but really wanted some boba, you know, just trying to have, trying to do something nice for myself, you know? All right, so it has been two minutes, so I am going to turn the heat off on my pearls in this other pot I have here. So I'm just gonna put the lid fully on here, just let them sit before I drain them out. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is definitely turning, like, I don't wanna like actually dump this on my laptop, but it's definitely looking a little saucy in here. That would be terrible. <laughs> but that's like, that would be like such a Catherine thing of me to do, to like, <laughs> accidentally like dump caramelized sauce on my laptop. <laughs> But I've had this laptop for like a year so far and it only has like one dent, so we're not doing too bad. I missed the bikini review yesterday. Um, I'll probably do another one at some point. I feel like um, right now I'm like house sitting, I guess, like at my grandparents' house and they have like a super nice like jetted tub. So like, they don't have a hot tub and like I wish I had a hot tub, but I'll maybe try to do some sort of like jetted tub, like hot tub stream at some point and do like a little bikini review in there as well. But pretty, pretty hyped for that. So maybe, maybe another, maybe another video like that coming soon, TBD. Um, I have the whole weekend, so. <laughs> All right, I think this is getting pretty, pretty sauce-like. I'm pretty happy with this. So I think I'm gonna take this brown sugar mixture off of the heat and just kind of let it sit so that I can do like a nice little drain into my cup here. But I love it like when I like perfectly do this sauce and it just like drips so perfectly down the cups. Like when like you go and get like a brown sugar boba, just like the like, I don't know, like I love the little like drips of like brown sugar that they do on there. So I'm trying to emulate that. 
maybe tonight we'll see well, it's getting a little bit it's getting a little bit late so we'll we'll see might be tomorrow gotta save gotta save some things for other days this is my second stream of today <laughs> technically like fourth stream of today because my other stream kept getting broken up because i kept getting calls and stuff um but it'll probably be this weekend <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call that good on my sauce here. So I'm going to take this off the heat for a bit and I am going to just let that sit for a bit. I don't want it to get too sticky, which I feel like it's already doing. So I'm going to, is it time? I can drain the pearls, yeah. All right, I'm trying to burn myself here. Okay, take these over to the sink. Also trying to drop all of these in the sink. Okay, I definitely feel like I need a strainer. I feel like I'm gonna drop all these in the sink and just remove this. All right, new plan. I definitely need to find a strainer, but I will show you how I drip the sauce in because I'm worried the sauce is getting really like thick and weird just sitting here. But I'm gonna do this over the sink. So I'm gonna flip angles here so you can see me. And we're gonna drizzle this into the cup. I guess it's fine here. It's fine close enough to the sink. So I'm gonna try to just like how did I do this before? This already looks like this is going to be hard to clean up. And that makes me sad. Because <laughs> um, I hate doing dishes. Um, let me think how I did this before. I'm going to store the spoon here temporarily. And I'm going to just go for the best. Oh, this has gotten really thick. This has gotten real thick. This is a real thick sauce. Okay, well, I think I thickened it too much. So that's on me, but okay. So it's not gonna look that cute, but it's gonna make my stuff taste good. So I am gonna scoop all this to the bottom. And we'll kind of just smear this. How do you know Twitch? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that question is, but I'm gonna try to just push this down a little bit. This does not look that good, not gonna lie. This does not look that aesthetically pleasing, but doing the best we can. So I'm gonna flip this. I guess it doesn't really matter which way I flip this, but I'm gonna flip it back towards the stove and my microphone that didn't end up working out. And I am gonna try to find, I do need like a little strainer because I'm so afraid I'm gonna drop all my pearls in the sink. <laughs> But I seem to be having a hard time finding literally anything that I need. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I have procured a strainer. <laughs> I've definitely tried to just like, I'll make pasta and I'll try to strain without a strainer and I've like dropped all my pasta in the sink. But you know, happens to the best of us. So I am going to, how long have I been in here on Twitch and why? Um, I tried to look back at my Twitch history today. I think I've actually been on Twitch since February, but I didn't start like seriously streaming, I would say until like April, just because... I did like an insane amount of traveling in March, so I just like wasn't around that much to be consistent about it, but I started taking it like more seriously like in April, I guess. <laughs> when I've been on Twitch for a while, and I originally started to play video games, um, just cause like I'm not very good at it and I thought it would be fun. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of ice in this cup as I talk and multitask. So I originally started on Twitch because I wanted to play video games because I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, 
And then one time before one of my streams, I did like a like getting ready before my stream and I did my makeup and it did like really phenomenally well for me. So I was like, oh, maybe people are interested in watching me like stream just like my everyday life, just like me doing makeup and stuff. So that's when I started like getting into like doing makeup and doing kind of more like the lifestyle content. But I still try to figure out what people like like to watch me do. So um, like I'm very open to suggestions and things. Um, I really don't game that much anymore. Um, but it is something like I kind of enjoy doing just like on my own. <laughs> Please no games. You don't get any viewers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, I haven't gamed in a while. Um, some people say I should, some people say I shouldn't. I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure out kind of what people like to watch me do. Um, but somehow I've become affiliate. So that's, that's really cool. So I now have my brown sugar in the cup, my boba in the cup and the ice. So now I'm going to add some almond milk. I'm so glad I left my almond milk in the bag instead of putting it in the fridge. <sighs> People go on pools categories. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I don't really have access to that, that kind of stuff. But I do really enjoy doing my makeup. There's also certain things for me. I just kind of draw the line and I just like would not feel comfortable streaming. Um, so like for me, just kind of like doing like pools all the time, I just probably wouldn't. I don't know. I just wouldn't like feel that good about myself and not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just kind of like if my coworkers like ever like found my Twitch, I wouldn't want them to be like, oh my gosh, like who is who is this person we're working with? Like she's just like in the pool all the time and stuff. Like I do kind of want to like mix it up, um, you know, but, <laughs> you know, it's just I'm trying to find what works for me still. So I'm going to grab a spoon and try to mix all this up and make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so hot it actually looks kind of cute so like it's kind of dripped down the cup like a little bit here um oh my gosh this is like really hardened somehow i've gone very wrong with the sugar like this does not come out like how it usually does i definitely think i've made candy like i think i've accomplished that goal which was not what i wanted to do but the sugar has become like really really hard so hopefully it is like permeated into the drink and it's going to make it sweet enough but just kind of stirring this up here a little bit um i feel like this isn't like as good as what you get at the store like of course not the store i guess like the restaurant the boba place but hey it works it's like much cheaper and if my sugar didn't look like this it look looks a lot better <laughs> so I feel like I've been doing this, I've been doing this for a while, like I think I started making my own boba back probably in like 2016, kind of like on and off I've been doing it, so um, I've made like a huge mess in my kitchen with all this stuff, but pretty hyped about this, just, you know, on and off. Yeah, you know, we all have to stream what makes us most comfortable, um, so at the end of the day, you know, it's all about kind of like what makes you know, you happy, not necessarily what makes your viewers happy. I try to make my viewers happy, but you know, definitely people have like requested like uncomfortable things like in the chat, like in other of my videos where I definitely draw the line. Um, but you know, everyone has different specialties that they, they specialize in. So this is my boba, pretty hyped on that. Um, appreciate all of you um, for tuning in and just hanging out with me. Um, if you do have any questions about how to make your own um, or things like that, feel free to, feel free to let me know. But um, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. <laughs>